Hey guys, what's up? Josh here. Um, today we're going to be talking about streaming mics. So what kind of microphone you're going to use while either streaming or playing video games and chatting with your friends on Discord and kind of what that sounds like, what some of the options are, some of the price points. So the microphones we're going to be talking about today are the Audio-Technica AT2020, which is a cardioid condenser microphone, the Sennheiser E835, cardioid dynamic microphone, the Rode Video Micro, and a Pop Lav Mic. And we're going to just talk about those and see how that goes. I will also be throwing in a um, boom mic off of a gaming headset that I have that I used on my Xbox just to see how that compares to other purpose-built microphones. So on to the first test. So today we're going to be doing two different tests with each microphone. The first test will be a, a couple of sentences from uh, a Harvard sentences. It's a good way to make sure you're catching all the plosives, all the sibilants. See how each mic reacts to that. The second will be a gameplay simulation. I've just got a Minecraft creative world open and we'll see how loud the keyboard and the mouse is in game and I'll just talk over that. So this is the Audio-Technica AT2020 with the reading. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days a chicken leg is a rare dish. And here is the Audio Technica AT2020 in the game simulation. Now we're trying out the Sennheiser E835. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days, a chicken leg is a rare dish. And now the in-game test. So we're playing in-game, lots of chaos, lots of things happening. I'm mashing all the buttons. So we really want to make sure to see how much of the keyboard and mouse each microphone is rejecting and how much of the room noise it's picking up. I expect this one to do a little bit better than the condenser as it is a dynamic microphone. Now we're testing out the Rode Video Micro. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days a chicken leg is a rare dish. And here's that same mic in game. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depths of a well. These days, a chicken leg is a rare dish. And then just for reference, this is with the same Rode Video Micro. Just out of frame here, um, if I wanted to not have the um, mic in frame. So the birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days, a chicken leg is a rare dish. And then here is the in-game sounds. I expect to hear a little bit more of the room noise and a little bit more of the keyboard and mouse noise in this as the mic is slightly farther away from my face, meaning I have to turn it up a bit. You'll also get less of the proximity effect, so my voice should sound a little bit more natural and a little bit less boosted on the low end. Now we're going to be trying out the Pop Lav Mic. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days a chicken leg is a rare dish. And now the same mic with the in-game sounds. I expect this one to be fairly noisy as it is an omnidirectional mic and not a cardioid mic. So now we're going to do that same test again, but this time we're going to do it with the OBS noise suppression turned on. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days a chicken leg is a rare dish. Now we're trying the in-game sounds with the noise suppression turned on. 
We're trying to see how much of my voice comes through versus how much of the keyboard and mouse sounds because we don't want to be annoying our friends on stream or in Discord. So the last microphone I wanted to try is this uh, boom mic on the headset I got to play on my Xbox. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days, a chicken leg is a rare dish. Now for those in-game sounds. Um, this one, again, I also expect to be a little bit noisier because I believe this is an omnidirectional and not a cardioid pickup pattern. For reference, the Audio-Technica AT2020 and the Sennheiser E835 were both going through my focus rate and the Rode Video Micro and the lav mic and the boom mic on the headset were all going through my computer, just in through the headphone jack. So it's been a couple days now and uh, I've had a chance to listen to the audio from the previous recordings and kind of come up with some thoughts. So to review, we looked at the Audio-Technica AT2020, the Sennheiser E835, the Rode Video Micro, and the Pop Lav Mic. Now of those, I've actually decided to go with the Audio-Technica AT2020 as my daily driver, mostly because I liked how it represented my voice cleanly to my audience. It has a nice transparency to it, it doesn't accent the lows, it doesn't accent the highs, it's not super pitchy. Um, so I, that's why I decided to go with that one. It also fits nicely on the boom stand I got for it. Right now I'm actually shooting with the Rode Video Micro because I like the talking head look where the um, microphone is out of shot for this kind of stuff. But if I was playing video games or streaming with friends or on a Skype call with family, that's the one I would probably use. The Sennheiser E835 was also really good. It had great audio quality, but it was a little bit boomy and it didn't give me a ton of movement. The reason I went with the AT2020 over the Sennheiser is because with the AT2020, it has a slightly wider pickup range, so I'm able to move around more behind the mic and it still picks me up the same. With the Sennheiser, if I did this or that, the audio levels will actually change pretty dramatically and it'll make it harder for my teammates to hear if I have to turn my head away. But if you are in a louder environment, say you've got siblings or a roommate or whatever, that one would be a really good choice because you're able to cut down on a lot of that extra noise. The um, lav mic actually turned out better than I thought, but it wasn't my favorite because, you know, anytime you try to move, it's going to make a lot of sound. You're also now tethered to your system where you can't just get up, take your headphones off and walk away. You got to take that off and it'll also get really loud anytime you look down um, just due to our mic placement. I did really like the Rode Video Micro sound, but for just normal streaming, it picks up a lot of the keyboard and mouse sounds and it's a lot to set up just to be able to chat with your friends on Discord or family video chats. And so when I initially did this, the lav mic and the Rode Video Micro, those are both 3.5 millimeter mics, had a lot of self noise and I didn't quite like that. But I found out it was mostly due to the amps I was running them through, either through my camera or through my computer, both of the 3.5 millimeter amps had a lot of noise. I actually bought a XLR to 3.5 millimeter phantom power converter. That's important because you don't want to run actual phantom power into the mics that require plug-in power because plug-in power is more like 3 to 5 volts whereas phantom power is 48 volts. You could break your mic if you run phantom power into it. So I've used this converter to allow me to plug my Rode Video Micro or the Pop Lav mic, but I'm using the micro right now, directly into my audio interface or into the mobile audio recorder that I have and that way I get the better, nicer XLR preamps and it drastically reduces the noise. And I'm overall, I'm really happy with how it sounds. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope today proved useful for you. I hope you learned something today, and uh, I will see you next time.